State. Yes. Let me say something. Let me say something. Even though Ole Miss took that loss in South Carolina the other day, they do it. Listen, it's, it must be something in the water or something down there. They playing basketball down in Mississippi, y'all. Mm-hmm. They playing basketball down in Mississippi. Mm-hmm. I got, I got to keep it. I got to keep it a whole one thousand yard. I wasn't looking for no hoop come out of Mississippi. Listen, I'm telling y'all, but I got to pay attention. I got to. They pay won attention. six of their last seven contests. The Listen. teams they beat, they beat number nine LSU at home. Mm-hmm. They beat Kentucky in overtime, and they beat Texas A and M. They're nineteen Look. and five overall, six and three in conference play. Purcell coming down here from Louisville. Uh, second second season. Say something. Go ahead. I see your I, I see your face. Go ahead. No no no. I was gonna Go say ahead. I was gonna Go say the, the the city where the Cardinals play. Yeah okay yeah say yeah Louisville okay. <laughs> Now, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, the Bulldogs is on a bubble right now. They're a bubble team, okay? Uh, but I think that they can get off this bubble. They got they don't want four straight. Uh, I think they're in right now because of the streaks of wins they just had. Nineteen and five overall, six and three in conference play. I think they're going to, you know, I hate this to use this lingo, but I think they're going to do them dirty in the seedings. But I well, think, I, I said think so. Gonna... I, I think that, and that's that was the point that I was going to go to. The coach said, you know, hey, we can kind of smell March, but we got to finish February. That was that right. was, those were his words, and I like that. And I think it is. They're playing for seating right now. Mm-hmm. They're playing for 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 where they where they fall in this bracket. But uh, listen, you got you got them probably looking at a, a number eight seed right now. Mm-hmm. The number eight seed. Yeah. Um, the nasty eight. That nasty eight and nine. That's always the most. <laughs> it's probably the most intriguing first round matchups are nine and eight. But, but I like them because they're like a. You, y'all know I love my movies. They like a little giants type of team. You yep. know, one time, it, it, this is a scrappy little bunch. So, 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 so sass, 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 sass. I apologize. I'm going to cut you off. The word that comes to mind when I saw them and I saw what they were doing, bracket busters. Bracket busters. They could break up an entire side of somebody's bracket because nobody's paying any attention to them. That eight or nine seed is nasty. I'll go as far as saying that 13 seed in the 13 there. That's a nasty side to be on. And they could be in there. 10 seed. All of those numbers are nasty, but we have seen it in the past. Bracket busting. That's what I see. And let me say something else about this team. They have graduate students. So they have experience. Hey, hold on, man. I don't want to hear nothing about no graduate student. They got a no, freshman. No, no. They got a freshman name, Miracle. If you don't start there, I don't no, know where no, you no, start. No, 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 talk no, about no, the experience. And the reason why I'm saying that is, no, no. is because no, no. No, no. these graduate you. students have led in points in the last nope. couple games Coach. in hostile environments. That's all I'm saying. Coach. Mississippi State. Mm-hmm. At LSU. Mm-hmm. We're not gonna overlook that. We're not oh, gonna I overlook know, that I, because I saw, I saw this coming. Because because Lauren Park Lane, senior, senior, she had to step aside and let Miracle Shepherd is her last name Shepherd Miracle Shepherd uh go ahead and ball out. Mm-hmm. So as much as I like the senior backcourt, they got a freshman down there named Miracle, mm-hmm. and we're gonna start right there. Mm-hmm. Because because I'm all about the freshman phenoms, mm-hmm. so I can't even get to the seniors without getting to the freshmen first. Mm-hmm. Talk to me. Tell me more about I, Miracle because I, I, I don't know a whole I lot about them. I apologize, everybody. I really no, don't listen. Know and I wasn't. She wasn't on my radar at all. Listen, mm-hmm. Mississippi State wasn't on my radar at all. This is what we watch for because. Oh, I, I, like I just said, I didn't see no. I didn't see no basketball coming out of uh, Mississippi, y'all. Mm-hmm. Did you? No, not at all. Not at I, all. I, I did. I didn't see it. I didn't see it coming. Uh, it was like you saw one win, like okay, they got the little win. Then you saw another one, like wait a minute, Mississippi State, what, what they got going on? But you saw, but you also saw Purcell go there, right? So it's mm-hmm. like okay, you're you're leaving Louisville to go down to Mississippi State, or what and is they, down there? And by the way, they were named uh, the NCAA Women's College Basketball Team of the Week this week too. So they're off. As they're they, off the radar. I mean, they're on the radar now. Oh, as they should be. As they should be. Yeah, yeah. A beating LSU puts you on the map. Beating LSU definitely puts you on the map. Why are, you bringing, why are you bringing up old stuff? 
because they're the defending champs. That may, I mean, if you if you get a, if you get a lick in on the on the uh, on the on the defending champs, you you got you got to talk about that. Well, and they got Georgia this week, so that's why I'm glad you mentioned that game. Um, uh, yeah, Georgia's you know that I think that'll be a good that'll be a good game. Mm-hmm. Miracle's only averaging like five points, two rebounds, two assists. She mm-hmm. shoots forty six from the floor. She's a five ten freshman out of out of Washington, so West Coaster. Down, down south. Stay that height one more time because I love, I Five love, ten. I love the direction that women's college basketball is going with these taller, ball handling, shooting type of players. I love it. I love it. I love to see it. Um, go ahead. I digress. I love it. Love size. But she's coming in and she's getting to play with the with the uh, with the senior backcourt that we were talking about, Lauren Park Lane and and Jaquela Jordan, right? Mm-hmm. You got you got Jessica Carter leading in blocks, and she's also leading in rebounds. Mm-hmm. So you kind of mm-hmm. got a three headed monster that is uh <clears throat> been play- that, that 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 have been playing really well together, mm-hmm. and then you've got this freshman that's coming along because everybody else is seniors. Jessica Carter's a senior. Everybody else is senior. And Aaron, so miracle- Aaron, Aaron Barnum is another one. Okay, yeah, I forgot. Twenty two points. Barnum. 22 she's points six, in the last two rows. Yep. Um, yeah, she's 6'2. And then you got uh, Jerkayla Jordan, another one. Well, yeah, Jerkayla. So now, Jerkayla, Jerkayla is something else. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, she, she's been balling 17 points, six rebounds, almost three assists, shooting up, shooting almost 46 from the floor. Mm-hmm. Really having a pretty, really having a pretty good season. Really, the reason. You know, one of the big reasons that the Mississippi State is 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 having all of this success. Mm-hmm. Lauren Park Lane, y'all see her here. She's not even taller than a referee. Y'all see her. <laughs> I, I, I blew it up so y'all could know for sure. She's not even taller than a referee. You hear me? <laughs> Do y'all hear me? Okay. <laughs> Averaging ten points. Okay. And, and so and so, what Mississippi State does is doing a little research. They will throw three guards out there. And they Absolutely. will try to run you, run you off the court. Which, again, that's a that's a that's a SEC formula. That's a SEC fast, fast, fast. I'm so intrigued by this upcoming March Madness. We're gonna see some matchups that we have not seen in years. I can't wait to see some of these slow it down teams versus the fast paced teams. I can't wait. And then you got to throw so, some coach. of the Pac-10 in there. They got a mixture of both, in my no. opinion. This is so. the one thing that I'm running. I'm wondering, and I'm hoping that I, I, I'm hoping that I'm, I'm right about this. Mm-hmm. But I'm, I'm slightly cautious about March because of all of the freshmen that we've been talking about. So, whoa, whoa, what you mean by that? Tell me more about that. Is the lights going to be too bright for somebody? Well, we said that. Yeah, I think for some of them. I mean, again, no disrespect. Ooh, tell me, tell me, tell me, throw a name out. Who I like think? Hidalgo, but Hidalgo, when you're that much of a of an anchor for your team as a freshman, March Madness is a different type of beast. Okay, you get out of the first round, that's fine. But once you start that round of 32, they are going to have a, an entire scheme to stop you. That's the first know. name I thought of as far as like, know. yeah. Scheme? Now, if you scheme me out of my game, that means that you outcoach my coach. Mm-hmm. If I show up and I'm fumbling the ball out of bounds and throwing passes in the stand, that means that the, 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 the light's too bright. Now, if you outcoach my coach, uh, there's, there's nothing I can do about that. If you mm-hmm. out scheme my, if you out scheme my coach, there's nothing I can do about that. Mm-hmm. But if she shows up and she can't make passes and she doesn't look like Hannah Hidalgo. Then to me, then that's when then that's when we talk about the the the, the, the lights are too bright. But I, she, her name did her name didn't come, doesn't come to mind for me. Well, but I don't. But, I don't but, 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 but I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. When I say like the lights too bright, I'm talking about when you're responsible for that much. So here's the thing. Um, who's gonna take up the weight if Hidalgo's not Hidalgo in the tournament? I'm talking about in the grinding rounds, 32, 16. That's what I'm talking about. As but far she's as not the in lights, this, like how is she going to react? She's not in this by herself, though. She's not in this by herself. She got Citron over there with her. Juju Watkins is more of a one-person show right now, and I don't think the lights going to be too bright for her. Not Hidalgo, mm. Juju, 
I feel like they came in uh, ready. I feel like they came in ready. I, I don't. They ain't gonna come to mind for me. I, I think the freshmen gonna show out. I do, but if we're talking in in general terms, your initial statement was you're a little a little hesitant of the lights coming on for them. But let me get let me let me clarify. I'm not saying anybody's gonna choke. I'm just saying. Are the lights too bright for them? And I say yes. Hidalgo comes to mind. Juju comes to mind. Have they ever experienced March Madness? Have they ever experienced your first four or five shots not going down? Have they ever experienced where you have two, three, four defenders coming at you? Have they? Ever I would have to check. You know, like you know what I'm saying. I would have like, to check. But I would say if they, if they're, if they won state championships, then they're fine. If they played in the state championship. Then they're fine because the lights get bright. The lights so get bright. In, in, in high are you comparing the state championship to March Madness? Yes, in the in the sense of having to go through everybody one and done and get it done. Yeah, absolutely. There's no way that I would think that Anna Hidalgo when it got a state championship and it wasn't all about her. There's no way that I think Juju Watkins when it got a state championship and it wasn't all about her. I don't know if they won state championships, but if they did, I, I my money is on the fact that they were the people that had to hold their team together and lead them there because they point guards. So if they went and got them one or if they got their team to one, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I'm comparing that because, because winning, winning, winning it all on any level is winning it all. The lights are bright at the state championship level. Absolutely. It's as bright as they can get at the level they are on. That's a fair point, but we're talking about a higher level of athleticism, a higher level of competition the moment itself just being 10 times bigger. Um, so I think we agree that the lights and March Madness are bigger than the state championship. Do no, we agree on that? No, we don't agree no, on that. No, okay. no. In the mm-hmm. sense that, in the sense that the jury was on the line. Regardless of whatever level it is, the so, jury's on the line. It's so for all tomorrow. So, so, so you brought that statement up. Who, who, who were you thinking about as far as freshmen there? I, as far I, I as don't lights? know. I don't know. I, like I said, I don't, there's not a name. I, I think I, I don't think that, that the lights are going to be too bright. But I haven't watched all of the all of the freshmen all all, all year, so I, I, I'm just mm-hmm. a little hesitant to say that there's going to be a lot of parody in the in the in the, in the uh, tournament. Uh, but as I keep watching through February, I may get there. You know, I'll I, say I gotta this. see. I gotta see what Talia's gonna right. do in Arkansas. Yeah, uh, we got Miracle coming on. Um, yeah. I think it's it's a little. I think there's more pressure. I had to look at the, my my freshman bigs. That's the I, area where it may be tough. When I'm freshman looking at my bigs. freshmen so far, I don't see any freshmen that have hit the freshman wall. Not any of the phenoms. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Okay, they, so they, so who who's gonna break out? Who's breaking out I of the freshman? Who has you, a potential to break out? Wiley. It's her. It's my laser for Wiley show. Hmm. It's gonna be the my laser for Wiley show. Will she get a chance to do that though? If her team is doing what they're supposed to do, will she even be unleashed like that? Until absolutely. Now, I, I, now here's what here's absolutely. what I anticipate. Here's what I expect. I expect by, I'm gonna say final four. Those who haven't been watching all year are gonna be like. Who is this kid out here? The other thing, though, too, is that Dawn has been bringing her along all this time to unleash yeah. her in March. The one thing that I, uh, one of the things that makes Dawn different than any than all the other coaches is that she's willing to be a fan first. That's she's true. willing to be a fan first. If you go back and you watch her reaction to uh, Ash, Ashlyn getting that first dunk, <laughs> not in South Carolina, the first dunk. If you go back and watch Dawn's face on the sideline in that moment, she's only a fan. If you watch her face in the moment when my lady, you know, introduces herself to the world in Paris with the behind the back, you digs, just a fan. So, yes, as much as we want to see my lady turn loose, Dawn wants to see my lady turn loose. That's what she bought her there for. Mm. She bought her there to turn her loose on somebody. So, yes, absolutely. I think she's going to be unlocked. Unlock. Yeah, Let's go. That. That's the that's the one I'm that's the one I'm thinking. That's the one I'm thinking yeah, about. Everybody yeah. else that we we didn't see what that freshman can do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see. It's um, all set up to be the full Wiley show. Yeah, 
Yeah. But then, like you said, I mean, again, I, I want people to be understand. I fully expect Juju and Hidalgo to do their thing. Um, but I think hopefully if they make it to those later rounds, the matchups that we want to see, I would love to see them, you know, matched up against each other uh, in the tournament, that type of stage. Um, there are some matchups that we, we, we and we're not going to do it today, but when we start getting to that, there are some matchups that we that we would love to see. Yeah, absolutely, March, absolutely.